Hi, and welcome to the video series for the Veeam Data Cloud from Microsoft 365. In this section, we'll be covering one of the core functionalities of the Veeam Data Cloud, and that is backup jobs. We'll go over configuration and modifying backup jobs. It is key here to note that everything that we will be discussing in this video pertains specifically to the variable license, as that license will have the ability to edit and control backup jobs. If you are on the fixed license, you will not have this access. For more information on the fixed versus variable licenses, please navigate to that video. Now, let's click on backup jobs at the top here. So now that you have access to build and modify jobs, it's time to consider some of the configurations, which can mean either splitting up exclusion groups or inclusion groups, and modifying these backup jobs as you create them. So we're going to start here with new backup job. And we can give this backup job a name. In this instance, I'm just going to call this mailbox test. And you can give it a description as well. OK, wonderful. A quick consideration here is that it's going to show you a repository that already that's already created. If you need separate retention based on your applications, please reach out to your CSM as they will have to create a new repository for you. So if there is a difference in desired retention, say between the mailboxes and OneDrive, we'll need to set up another repository for that. Okay. So once I hit next here, I am going to go to back up the following objects. And this is where you can choose users individually. And you'll see all your users there. You could also upload a file. And please note that the file should be a text file with one email address per line. You could also do this by backing up groups. So I'll check how stark, and I would hit OK here if I wanted that group backed up. Typically, we see like security groups here being chosen. And you could individually select SharePoint sites or individually select teams. Finally, you could select partial organization and I know this could be a little bit confusing, but partial organization actually means your entire organization. So if you chose this, you would be choosing every mailbox, archive mailbox, OneDrive, sites or teams jobs. That's going to be uh, created or exist. So this was not only the ones that exist today, uh, but also one that will exist in the future. We rarely advise on doing this as it might slow down the performance of your backup job. So please be cautious if you are going to try to do the whole organization all at once. The other consideration to make here is that you're not going above and beyond the licenses that you've already purchased. Otherwise, you will be charged in co-terms for overages. So from here, we could hit Next. And then I'm going to go into the Advanced Options here. You can now select how often it runs. So that could be 24, 8, or 4 hours. Key thing to note here is that you don't want to change that until after the first backup job has completed. And the VDC or the Veeam Data Cloud team takes care of all the other scheduling on the back end to make sure it runs at the most efficient time possible. So from here, you would hit Create. But obviously, we're, we're not going to do that here today. But that's how you would create a backup job. So I'm going to go ahead and back out of this. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to modify backup jobs. So let's click on this backup job here. Some cool things to note here is that it's going to show you the status of all the jobs running. 
And at the bottom here, you have options for some of the logs as well. So if you click on the eyeball under actions here on the right, you'll be able to see the existing logs. And you can export this to a CSV. You also have the option to change the statuses at the top here as well. So if you wanted to sort by the different statuses, you would be able to do that. Right now, we just have a success status. But there are other options as jobs are running or if you have any warnings that you'll be able to sort by here. Then to modify jobs, you would go back up to the top here and the three dots on the right and click Edit. Now you're, when you're modifying a job, that's where you can do any exclusion rules or inclusion rules. Right now, for this demo, you're only going to see exclusion rules because we have already doing an entire organization backup, meaning there's no one else to include because we're already backing up the entire organization. But if you're only doing a partial job here, you would be able to include certain items or certain groups as well as exclude certain items or certain groups. So for here, obviously, we could only exclude. So we're going to go ahead and hit this plus sign. And this is where you could choose different users, or groups, or SharePoint sites or teams to exclude within this backup job. So let's say we wanted certain security groups excluded. We'd be able to do that here. Any dynamic groups can be added as well. So typically, if you go to one of the other jobs, again, you'll see that you can modify both the inclusion ex and exclusion. It's also important to keep in mind that we highly recommend that you keep jobs under 1,500 to 2,000 users. Because once you start getting over about 1,000 SharePoint sites or 1,000 teams, that's where we want to start thinking about a second job. Now, there are multiple ways to do that. So you could either have a partial organization in one job so that it's dynamically pulling everyone in and then build exclusion groups around that to maybe be its own job. The other thing you could do is have a couple of dynamic groups. So it's only pulling in 15 users in one job, 1,500 users in one job, and then another job that's pulling in another 1,500 users, and so on and so forth. So that'll keep things running smoothly, and it'll also make sure that the number of warnings are lower that you're seeing come through. And that will just make things run uh, better and be more manageable for you. That way, you could have multiple jobs running for a single application. For more information, please reach out to the customer success team at vdc.customersuccess at veeam.com. Thank you.